it's Cake Up Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful green cut crease. I'm dipping into my 35B Morphe brushes palette and I'm going into this green shade right here. To apply that, I'm using the Morphe 332 brush all the way to my brow highlight and this is the highlight from the moon child highlighter palette by anastasia beverly hills and it's in the shade lucky clover from the same palette i'm going to be grabbing this darker green right here i'm just going to dot it on my outer v and then kind of work it into my crease I'm going to take some of that first color and blend it in so that there are no harsh lines. Next, I'm going to be taking this individual eyeshadow by NYX. To apply that, I'm using the Morphe M222 brush. I'm focusing this color above my double lid into my crease. So where I poke in, this is my crease and this is my double lid right here. I'm going to be going like in between that. To cut my crease, I'm using my Studio Finish Concealer by MAC in the shade NC35. To apply that, I'm using this flat brush by Morphe Brushes. I'm going to make it appear like my lid is actually higher than it is by bringing it up to my crease. Now I'm just going to blend this concealer in with my eyeshadow. To set the concealer, I'm going to be taking this neutral shade from that same Morphe palette. I'm going back into the same steel color with a little detailed brush. All the brushes I'm using are from Morphe brushes. And I'm defining this crease. For the lid, I'm dipping into this like fluorescent blue mermaid color by NYX. And I think it's actually called Mermaid Serene. To apply that, I'm going to be using this little flat brush. And I'm actually going to spray this with some setting spray. I'm mainly going to focus this on the upper half of the lid. With that same brush, I'm going to dip into my Electric Palette by Urban Decay. And I'm going to go into Thrash. Now applying that on the bottom half of the lid and blending it upwards. Alright, now I'm going back into those two green shades. So this one and this one with my Morphe 222 brush. And I'm blending those two colors on my outer V. I'm also going to grab some of that gunmetal color. Now I'm taking this black, focus it on my like line of my lid. I'm also going to apply this to the cut crease line and define it a little bit. For the bottom eyes, I'm going into the rash again. Now I'm going into this green with my M326 brush. And I'm going a little bit below my lash line. With that same brush, I'm dipping into the Scun Metal color and applying that directly on my lash line. On my waterline, I'm going to be applying this black. To highlight my inner corner, I'm using my Moon Child palette again into Lucky Clover. And I'm using this little flat brush again. I'm going to spray that with some setting spray. For some mascara, I'm using my Ultimate All-in-One by Revlon. For some falsies, I'm using some from my stack of lashes that I reuse. So I'm not sure exactly which style this is in, but I believe these are from Coco Lashes. For the bottom lashes, I'm using these individual lashes by Ardell, and these are the double ups. I'm just going to be using four like pretty evenly around my eye. To top it off, I'm going to be using this setting spray by NYX, and this is in the dewy finish. While my face is still wet, I'm going to be dipping into my Moonchild highlighter palette into Lucky Clover.
I'm using this little angled flat brush to get the temples of my forehead. And this is the final look. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this look, if you like it, if you think I can improve. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit your notification button so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!